Hey guys, oh, so, sorry about my voice, so I'm coming down with something. I guess that beat me there. Uh, but, and today we are going to talk about Pokemon Centre London. Well, I'm going to show you what I want. If you want me to talk about it when I'm feeling a bit more better, I can. But, long story short, um, oh, got there about 6.30 and we got into the store about 11.20, 11.25 will be safe. Uh, this is something that was given to us, so I'm going to be showing you everything in price order. And this will include the plastic bag, which is limited edition for the store. So this is the first item you get. So if you're in the queue line, each person, if they want them, can get these stickers. And they are of the poster. And this design is also on the card sleeves. And it's London Pikachu with a load of Pokemon around him. I think these are really cool. So basically, before you get into Pokemon Center, you get two, well, you get at least one free item of the poster. I'll show you everything once I've sorted it all out. The next item is the bag. It doesn't fully fit on the camera properly. But this is the normal Pokemon Center side. The other side is an advertisement for Sword and Shield. As you can see there. And this was 25p. The reason why it's got the five, 25p exclusive bag. But it's also subject to the British. Because it's a plastic bag. It's subject to the British 5p charge. I think it was 5p last time. Anyway. It might have changed since then. But it is subject to that tax. So that's a reason why you'd have to pay for it anyway. The next item is these are the card sleeves. They're about £7.50. There's a rumour that these only contain 60 sleeves. That is wrong. It is 65 sleeves, just like a regular pack outside of Pokemon Center, like in Elite Trainer Boxes, or just sleeves they do in general. So it is their regular pack of sleeves. They're even silver backed. Just so you know, they are. The official sleeves, they're not the Japanese style sleeves, which are the full plastic ones. So you will want to be careful with them because this back thing will peel off depending on how you shuffle. I'm planning on not using these until I've run out of sleeves. I've got quite a few to go through at the moment. These are fine for now. And as like I said, this is the same design. It sort of fades out on in and out on the edges. Is the doesn't really show up well with the design, but you already know what that look, looks like. So yeah, just to tell you, 65 sleeves, not 60. That is the main rumour around these sleeves. It is false, that rumour. This is the next thing. It's a little blurry, but it's a sitting cutie Charizard. This one is about 11. It's 11 pound. I don't know if the other ones are cheaper or more expensive. I didn't check the others, but this is the Charizard. I think this one's really cute, even though it looks kind of angry. Really cute. And his stomach, unlike the other plush, that didn't really work. But his stomach's more bean baggy, so he sits up. Hence, sitting cutie. Until you knock him over. The next item I bought was the mug. I think actually this is getting into more Christmas territory. I don't actually think I was the one who bought this. I think it's something I'm getting for Christmas. So yeah, this is got different designs of Pichu. This is the print on the inside of the umbrella. Hang on for a second. So this is yeah again the mug. It will come in a little box, protective. With a little casing, I'll have to put it back in because just to make it safe for packaging. Sorry about any yelling in the background, I can't help that. Um, I wish I could. But yeah, so that was the mug. The next item, and this is the Subble Plush. Yeah, I have to hold it up. But... There he is. That's one of the new items from Pokemon Center, and you could buy it here. 
It's very difficult to hold it with one hand in a good angle without getting your hand in the way. There he is. He's actually kind of cute. He's sad, but he's cute. I like him. I'm going to choose him when the game comes out. And he, does, he doesn't He does stand up. You will need to support him with something. Other than that, really cute plush. And I do like this plush. The last plush of this video is the London City Pikachu, as you can see from the tag there. This is the exclusive for the store. Let's show the back. There's nothing too special. It's Pikachu tail with all that, but this is more of a display piece, I think, because his hat isn't exactly soft. Don't know if you can hear that, but you can definitely feel that it's not. It's more of a. It's not really cardboard, but it feels like it. So it is. It isn't really soft to sleep on like the rest of the plushie. So it's definitely more of a display piece. But it is definitely a cute plush. And I don't regret picking that one up. So this is another. This is one of the t-shirts. This is the manga style t-shirt. Again, I actually can't take this out of the packaging because this is sort of an early Christmas. Well, I know about it early, but I'm not actually getting this until Christmas. So if you want to have a look at the design, if I could focus on it. Oh, it's not going to focus. Oh, no. So that will be the view you get, unfortunately. There's the top two tiles and the bottom two tiles. The next item, I've actually literally just unboxed this one, and it is the playmat. This is something I, or another thing I really wanted. It's got Mew, Golden Mew, Golden Mew 2, and a Gentleman Pikachu. Got the berries and London 2019 on there. It is a really good design. It's just that symbol in the middle. You've got simplistic design around it. So I am a fan of this playmat. I will be using it to play cards. So I won't be using it for like the background playmat for it uh, for a while. But it is a really nice playmat. I think I'll be using this for quite a while actually. If not forever for cards it is I do love this playmat and I did leave the playmat out for now but here's the next item on top of it which is the what is it called it is Pikachu in a pocket I think it's called it's London City Pikachu here but it's like there's you've got a stitch on pocket as normal but then you've got a Pikachu peeping out of it and this is actually the adult size. So it is a really nice shirt though. I am excited to wear both of these. The one before, but this one is the one that I saw before and I really wanted. So I'm, that is, I think, the third thing I'm really happy about that I actually got. Now before I move on to this next item, uh, I really needed the jacket for like next year. Because I only really have a winter coat, or no coat at all, really. So the first one I wanted was, I think it was a jacket with this design on, but they didn't have it in stock. So the next best thing which I wanted, in case it was out of stock, was the first partner one. And because I picked up Sobble, well, I got the Sobble jacket. So it's got the emblem for him on the front. Again, I can't unbox it. It's actually the second most expensive item actually in the centre. I don't know if you can actually see it. No, you can't see the sleeves from here that well. But down the sleeves, there is at least one sleeve anyway. It has a sub on it. So it's more like a sports themed one. But I think it's a really nice hoodie for Sword and Shield. And the last item, and the most expensive item, is the Pixel EV Collection backpack. This is the big one, and I bought this because it's actually perfect for travelling with. So, again, this is the Christmas present, so it's not really I bought it, but I will be getting this eventually. So, it's got this main compartment and a big pocket in the back. And well, like, again, it's all these little pockets here. You can just stash stuff in. It's got a little keychain thing. So you can like clip your wallet to that. 
but I think I'll be using this for traveling abroad because it is a really good backpack for that. I don't have a extremely, I have a good enough bag for traveling abroad. It isn't like a zip up one like this, so I think this will, I'll feel more secure leaving this in the overhead compartment because I could just hide everything away in the bag. So that's a really nice purchase and the back of it is padded as well so it won't get uncomfortable and the straps, the back of the straps are also padded and on the front you have the design that's on the bag. If I zoom in on it we could actually have a better look at it. No focus. So what it is, is it's Evie's Evolutions, I think there is, yeah there is Evie's on this too. Like that one, you get a few big ones on there too. So that was everything from Pokemon Centre London. Definitely, if you want the good stuff, get there early. Especially if you want the Wailords and Mimikyus. Because we got, like I said, queued up at half six. And when we got in about half eleven, the Mimikyu and Wailords were all gone. So if you want one of those, get there quick. But other than that, if you're not too fussed, about half six at the moment is the right time to aim for. Maybe slightly later, slightly earlier if you want. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you really live in London or go into London, definitely check out the Pokemon Centre, especially if you don't have access to the American Pokemon Centre. It is, or the Japanese Pokemon Centres. It is an experience that you should go for. Also, Sword and Shield demos are there. So if you haven't tried them out, another incentive for you to go. So yeah, this is all Pokemon Center slash Sword and Shield. I will see you in the next episode.